Yo, 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 what's good, y'all? It's your boy, Fro Thizzle in the building. And today, I'm going to be talking about the 1993 film, Ticks, directed by Tony Randell. Ain't nothing to it, but to do it. Is this a good film? No, you can argue that it's not. But I had an enjoyable watch with this one. I had a lot of fun with the Ticks, and I love how they sound when they run across the floor. Tick, 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 tick. We get to know our characters for the first 20 minutes or so. And for a movie called Ticks, the buildup was a little bit slower than I expected. The acting isn't great. There's a lot of cheesy line delivery, and it's very noticeable to spot. A young Seth Green plays the main character, Kyle, and I think he's decent with what he's given. He plays a basketball-loving loner who has weird panic attacks when he thinks something bad is about to happen. I wouldn't say it's a terrible performance. Alfonso Robero, as Panic, is a mixed bag for me. He plays a tough-talking street guy that joins the main group, but he's revealed to be more on the softer side. It's really rare when you see a performance that's both good and bad at the same time. He has one decent emotional moment for a movie called Ticks, but he has a handful of awkward acting moments as well. The only two actors that I think genuinely acted really well with their dialogue were the two creepy hillbilly guys and Clint Howard for the small part that he had. I thought the two scumbags did a really good job at selling how gross they were. And I love Clint Howard as an actor. I think the guy's very underrated. Like I said, we get to know our characters in the first half and it feels a bit slow, but I felt the movie started taking off in the middle point. The practical effects are awesome. I don't think there's any CGI in this film, which is a bonus for me. Maybe some stop motion, but I don't remember any CGI. I thought the way the ticks looked were done very well. We have some nice animatronic moments and some cool puppetry work in some other shots. 9 out of 10 for the creature design for me, and 10 out of 10 on the practical gore. I wanted more death scenes in this film, but one particular kill was very gross, grotesque, and fucked up. I'm gonna give y'all spoilers right now, but I'm not gonna put it in the title, because this movie's a 1993 film. It's old enough for anybody to watch it, and it's called Ticks. Do you really care about spoilers for a movie called Ticks? Alfonso Robero's Panic gets the worst goriest, most brutal, disgusting death of the whole film when the tick rips out of his fucking body. I wish we got to see more of the characters killed in this gruesome fashion. And I would have liked to see more tick transformation scenes because it was very well done. Nearly everybody in the main cast survives and I felt very disappointed with that because I wanted to see more kills. I feel half and half with the musical score. There's some parts of the score that I love, mainly when the ticks attack but other times sound like the background for a Lifetime show. The camera quality of this film is very cheap and very noticeable, but when the film starts picking up steam in the middle half, I overlook the quality. It doesn't mean that you will, though. I have my problems with the film, but overall, it's a fun, gory, messy, creepy, crawly movie. I'm going to give Ticks a 6.5 out of 10. That's it, y'all. It's your boy, Fro Thizzle. Thank y'all for watching, and I appreciate y'all. Subscribe for more. Peace.